what's up YouTube Jeremiah Hersey here and welcome to the next video in my series in this video we're going to be talking about a solution so a solution inside of power apps is a way to manage content that you create for your business and so there's two types of solutions there's an unmanaged solution and a managed solution so the difference between the two is that an unmanaged solution allows users inside of the environment to make changes to the solution a managed solution will basically protect your solution and the objects with inside of it so as we go to migrate the solution to different environments they can't change the objects that are inside of it and this is especially important as we move our business objects from a development environment into a production environment we want to make sure nobody changes anything that might cause errors or problems with inside of our environment or our solution so a solution in its simplistic terms is a way to package everything up so this is going to be any canvas apps business apps uh, using model driven application business process flows any kind of flows in general and any tables that are associated to those apps or flows will also all be packaged into this solution so for today we're just going to talk about how to create a solution and just the basics of getting started and then as we go to build these different applications and and objects with inside of the solution we're just going to make sure we build it in that solution so that way we can package it all up at the end and we can migrate it to a different environment so let's go ahead and get started so here we are at make.powerapps.com and we're going to be focusing in on the solution section here. So over on the left hand side, you're going to find this option for solutions. Once again, make sure you're in the correct environment. This is going to play a part later on once we build everything. So this is where you would choose your development environment so for your company typically companies have a development and a production environment you might also have a testing environment as well and so you just want to make sure that you're in the correct environment for this video i'm going to be using my personal environment and that's where i'm going to create the solution so over on the left hand side we're going to select solutions so as always with Microsoft and power apps you're going to have some basic solutions already built for you and so we have the option to use one of these solutions but we're going to create our own solution so this solution is going to be the way that we package all of our apps and flows and tables and everything that we're going to be using for this business solution in one place so at the top of the screen we're going to select new solution and for this solution I'm going to be doing a business onboarding solution and so this is going to be uh, as I bring new hires into my company they're gonna go through a process and initial intake they're gonna have their first interview their second interview and we're gonna have different tables associated to that so that we can kind of track the information whether it was approved or denied by management and then our final approval as they onboard to our company and so I'm gonna call this solution business onboarding now with a publisher the reason the publisher is important is as we migrate this solution to different environments such as development to production we want to make sure that it's unique so if someone else has a solution called business onboarding it's going to cause an error or a problem as we go to migrate the solution and any tables that are associated that might be named the same so a publisher allows you to create an identifier that identifies the solution 
from this particular environment and who created it. And so what I'm gonna do here is, of course you can select one of the default publishers here, but I'm gonna select new publisher and I'm gonna create a new publisher that's gonna reference me so that way as I migrate this to different environments, I'll know exactly which solution, which tables, and which applications are mine. So I'm gonna go ahead and select new publisher and I'm gonna just put my name in both places here. So the display name's gonna be Jeremiah and the name's also gonna be Jeremiah as well. And down here, this is the important part, is the prefix. So the prefix is what you're going to see as you look at the object, whatever it is, whether it's a table or the application, and you'll see a preview of this object down here below. So what I like to do is I like to use my initials here. Okay, so I'm just gonna put my initials in here. And so this is what it's gonna look like. I'm gonna see the prefix of my initials associated to those specific objects. So every time I see J-A-H, I'm gonna know that this is the object that I created inside of this solution. And if I migrate it to in a different environment, it's gonna also have that tag on it as well so that I can quickly identify what is mine versus other people's objects. And so I'm gonna go ahead and click save. And then I'm gonna select that publisher. So I'm gonna select the publisher that I just created for myself. There it is. And we're going to go ahead and click create. All right, so we have now just made our solution. Once again, the solution is similar to like a container that houses all of the objects that we're going to be using for this business scenario. And so we can see over here on the left hand side all of the objects that are currently inside. So we have no apps, no tables, no cloud flows. It's just a blank solution at this point. So we can add objects inside of it. We can add existing tables from Dataverse if we want to directly inside of this solution. And we can also create new objects as well. So if you look here at the top, you'll see the option for new. So this is how you create new objects with inside of it. And so if I wanted to, I can go ahead and start creating my canvas or model driven application. As far as automation, business process flows are down here under process. So you can see the business process flow, which we'll go through as well. So once we create the model driven application and the tables associated to it, We'll create a business process flow for the onboarding to make sure that they everybody who does this onboarding process is following the exact same process and going through the same checkpoints. We can also can embed Power BI reports directly in here as well. You can see tables and we can pull in our tables if we want to. If we go down here to more, this is gonna be where you're gonna see your connection references, your choice object, so if we create a choice where you have to choose between multiple choices, so there's two different ones, there's choice and choices, so uh, choice is a single select object, so you'll have multiple options to choose from, but you can only choose one. Choices is a multi-select, so you can choose more than one option, and we'll go through that as we build our tables. So I'm gonna go back to my solutions here. And as I look at my solution, so you can see here that we have our business onboarding solution. Here is the publisher. So the publisher is who created it. And so that's why I put my name in that um, that publisher position as the name so that I can see that I created this particular solution. You'll also see this managed, okay? So a 
at this point this is a unmanaged solution which means that you can make modifications you can change objects with inside of it when we go to migrate this to a different environment such as our production environment we want to make sure that this is a managed solution meaning that you cannot change objects from directly inside the managed solution you would have to change it in the development environment under the unmanaged solution package it back up and then publish it out as a managed solution in order to make changes so this is a kind of protection layer to keep your solution from changing I want to thank you so much for joining me uh, I hope this kind of starts to make sense for you as we go to build out our solution for our business we're going to create that solution inside of power apps to house everything that way as we build different objects we're going to put it inside that solution so that we can manage it a lot easier and find our objects a lot quicker and also as we go to migrate it's going to make it easier to package everything up if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content i'll see you in the next one